Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm bringing you the latest transfer news as Mamelodi Sundowns are expected to announce the signing of Tabel Maseko from Supersport United and KZ Chiefs expected to sell Caleb Bemimana to wait at Casablanca and also Havale Skotas to make a decision on his future. Liserika Pinga is available now for talks after he completed his campaign with Bafana Bafana in the Kwasafa Cup and also Laila K returning to Mamelodi Sundowns where the decision will be made on his future. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week now let's get on with the video i want to start today's video by talking about bongani zungu now bongani zungu is apparently unhappy with the situation at Mame Lori Sundowns because he feels like he's down the picking order and things may be worse than they were last season where he was just a bit part player now Mongani Zungu is currently behind a lot of players in the picking order at Mamelori Sundowns and he feels like he may not have enough playing time next season. Now, the likes of Aubrey Mudiva, the likes of Pelelom Kulise, Marcelo Allende, they are ahead of him in the picking order and as well as new signing Lisvangu is expected to be ahead of him in the picking order at Mamelori Sundowns. So it feels like Mongani Zungu may have to move away from Mamelori Sundowns if he is to play consistent football now that is the situation on bongani zungwe and also kids kids and junior has come out and said they are not going to be revisiting their interest in bongani zungu so a move to Kaiser Chiefs is out of the picture for Bongani Zungu. It is not going to happen. Kaiser Dong Jr. himself has commented on a tweet where they were linking them to Bongani Zungu and he said he does not like the fact that Kaiser Chiefs are always linked with uh, uh, false news. Now, that is the situation currently. Bongani Zungu may have to leave Mamadou Sanans because he is currently unhappy with the situation. So, he will have to have a conversation with Ronaldo Mukwena and see what is the plan for him next season because he wants to understand he wants playing time next last season we know uh, Bongani Zungu was not playing a lot of football but this season he does not want to undergo through the same experience but in order to offload a player like Bongani Zungu it may be a little bit more difficult for Mamelodi Sundowns given the players wages and how much it will take to price him away from the club there are only a few teams that can afford Bongani Zungu at the moment which is why we've not heard anything about Mamelodi Sundowns trying to offload Bongani Zungu but the player would like to know how much playing time he will get exactly and how important a player he is in the squad is in the squad currently at Mamelodi Sundowns now We'll see in the coming few days what is going to happen in the situation of Bangani Zungu, but I'm told the player is unhappy with the situation currently. He does not like not playing football and he has not been playing a lot of football as we have witnessed last season. Now, that is the situation on Bangani Zungu. Kesi is not interested in Bangani Zungu as things stand at the moment. Now, still talking about Kesi Chiefs, Kesi Chiefs are expected to complete the uh, sale of Caleb Bimeng Mana this week because uh, Wydad Casablanca are really pushing to get that agreement over the line. No, we know there is an agreement in principle between Wydad Casablanca and Casey Chiefs and Caleb Bimeng Mana was in Casablanca yesterday. He has been in Casablanca since Friday negotiating personal terms, which is not expected to be a problem. But now Casey Chiefs need to complete this deal because Wydad Casablanca are, are pushing because they want um, to register the player by the end of the week where they are required to register the players who are going to be a part of the uh, rap, rap champions cup now we at casablanca are very pushing are pushing for the move they want it to happen by the end of this week whether it will happen or not we will see but it is expected that caleb Bimimana will be leaving case chiefs by the end of the week he is not with the cage squad at the moment that was reported yesterday i also reported on it caleb Bimimana left on friday and went to casablanca where he's trying to finalize a uh, deal on the payment or uh, and the wages with the at Casablanca where they are negotiating him and his agent they are trying to negotiate some the signing on fee and the wages that is not expected to take too long now we're expecting an imminent announcement from Casey Chiefs on the departure of Caleb Bime Miana now again still at Casey Chiefs I want to talk about Hawale Sukhota Hawale Sukhota is linked with a move to Stellenbosch FC we know Stellenbosch FC did inquire about Hawale Sukhota at Casey Chiefs about a week ago and Casey Chiefs did show an openness to make a deal on Hawale Sukhota now it will be up to Hawale Schota if he wants to join uh, Stellenbosch FC but I'm told the player may be interested in a move to Stellenbosch FC where he will get consistent playing time something that he did not get at KZ especially in the second half of the season but also Molifenseki who I was told also last week that Molifenseki would have liked to look at Hawale Schota in training and see 
if he's going to be able to use him but Casey's have shown a willingness to make a deal with Stellenbosch FC so that we may see happening as well this week Howell's quarter to Stellenbosch FC now these are two deals that we should be look we should look at this week Caleb Bemimana to Werder Casablanca and also Howell's quarter to Stellenbosch FC still at Casey Chiefs Casey Chiefs are fed up on the situation of Kama Billiard and I'm told Casey's are expecting Kama Billiard to communicate a decision by the end of this week and if the player does not communicate a decision Casey Chiefs may have to make a decision on his behalf. Now the situation of Kama Billiard may be resolved at the end of this week. As I said this may be a very very big uh, week in this transfer window. Casey Chiefs are also internally considering the signing of Lissedi Kapinga in case things do not go well with Kama Billiard. We know Casey Chiefs have had talks with surprise Ralani about a potential move but that has went cold as well there have not been any up update on the situation between Casey Chiefs and surprise Ralani now we don't know what is happening on that situation but Casey Chiefs will consider signing Lissedi Kapinga in case Kama Billiard decides to leave the club now Casey Chiefs it looks like they are still keen on keeping Kama Billiard at the club but they are just fed up because it is taking too long to make a decision and they want to know exactly who is going to be playing under Molifensig and Molifensig would like to know all the players who are going to be playing under him so he can uh, implement his tactics so at the moment Kamabila has not made a decision yet it is still cold on the situation of Kamabila the last update we got was from Casey Chiefs when they told us that they could not reach Kamabila and the player was not responding to the text messages or phone calls from the club that is the current situation Casey Chiefs would look at Lissari Kapinga but at the moment there is nothing concrete between Casey Chiefs and Lissari Kapinga that's what I, I just want to affirm that there is nothing concrete but we know Lissari Kapinga currently he's available for talks because Lissari Kapinga did say he'll be available for talks immediately after the Kosafa Cup campaign with Bafana Bafana. He wanted to focus on Bafana Bafana and he was not going to talk with any other club. But at the moment, KZ Chiefs will try and explore a deal there. This is just a deal that they will explore. If uh, there is an opportunity to sign Lissari Kapinga, KZ Chiefs will take it because they see Lissari Kapinga as a very, very good player. Now, that is the situation. Surprise Ralani situation has went cold. I don't know what is happening on that situation. I'll try and make some uh, calls and check what is happening on the situation of surprise Ralani. But at the moment, I have not heard anything on the situation of Lissari Kapinga, and all the publications have been quiet on the situation of uh, surprise Ralani. I meant not Lissari Kapinga, on the situation of surprise Ralani. That is the current situation when it comes to Kamebila. Cases are still waiting on the player. I also want to talk about Tapelo Maseko. Tapelo Maseko's move to Mamdur's announce is expected to be confirmed this week and also Laila K is returning to Mamdur's announce where a decision will be made on his future. I did mention this on my previous video which is why I'm just doing a quick quick uh, update on them. So Tapelo Maseko to Mamdur's announce expected an announcement this week and also Laila K's future to be resolved in the coming few weeks as he is returning to Mamdur's announce right now where a decision will be made on his future. Now, tell me what you think about the players that I mentioned in this video. Bongani Zungu, Casey Chiefs not being interested in Bongani Zungu anymore. Hawale Sukhota is uh, being linked with a move to Stellenbosch FC. And also, Caleb Bemimana being sold to Werder Casablanca. And all the players that I mentioned in this video. Give me your thoughts on all the situations. And also, if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. And also, hit a like on the video if you liked this update.